Hello and welcome to Train Sim TV and welcome back to Blackpool Branches. Um, this video is um, great to find some mistakes. Um, I was meant to put in the class of eights on the stock video that went live um, the other day. For some strange reason, I forgot to put the 08 section of the video in. So here we are. We're going to have a look at the 08, and I'm I'm boosting this video up with a um, a shunting turn at Preston after the look around at the initial liveries. So without further ado, we'll go to Blackpool and take a look at the stock on the 08 side of things. A class 08, also known as Gronks or Rods, um, are featured heavily in this route as well. So. Class 08s uh, play a big role in shunting stuff around over at Blackpool North of Preston, so you'll, you'll find these doing stuff at various times of the day. Uh, Preston, you'll see more action in the evening when the, the shuffling parcel trains around, but Blackpool North, you'll see plenty of uh, shunt release workings around um, this area, helping locos turn around and make quick departures back um, like south. So. The livery you'll see around um, the Blackpool area will be this one. So this is the crew out shop BR Blue um, livery. Whereas the difference being is that Preston you'll see this um, absolutely lovely example which is uh, Preston's Pet Pilot Loco which is Wigan TMD with a Lancashire Rose painted on the side. Again this was um, a little bit of handiwork, the, the, the rose and the, the, the name was done by Matt Wilson. Uh, again, who did the same as the 47 nameplates, so a big thanks to Mac in that side of things. He did a lovely little job on them. Um, Ed did the um, painting, such as the, the white ladders, the buffer beams, um, the white roof as well. Um, I think he did the retweak of the actual liveries as well. Um, I don't think Benedict did the, the shunt liveries. I think Ed did them once. Um, also, there was some work in the cab as well. The cab had been uh, retextured up. Oh, it's been thrown out of my door. Make sure there's that. Yeah, that was me. That <laughs> I have to make sure there's actually. You could just walk through the door then. That would be worrying. Um, so yeah, there, there'd been some reworking in here as well. Um, I'm just going to go through the changes like we did with the 47. So there, there was a list of bits and pieces for this. Um, but yeah, these are a modified version of the heavy freight 08, which brought into this route into the fold and the alterations that you'll find um or updates or upgrades if you want to call them so we had alterations to the brake timings to bring them closer to reality adjusted how the locomotive loads uh, as well to add further realism new smoke effects so again the smoke on this is um is updated let's see if i can demonstrate that there we go so it's a bit more of a, a subtle sort of like a fog coming up and rising and dropping um adjustments to the lights which i think is the marker lights i think there's been some changes to them um cabri texture so reworking on the uh, livery in well not the livery but the uh, the paint scheme in here so it's just been giving a spruce up more than anything i think in this one um and again i say a representation of 08 seven four four which is this one and then the blue crew um general blue livery which most shunters would have been uh out shopped him but yeah not much to say with the right it was pretty it's a pretty simple one really just a couple of changes on them um, a couple of different um, variations that you get to see and play with. But yeah, these feature heavy in the timetable, so uh, you, I'm sure you'll have good fun shunting stuff around. Um, again, we will be covering shunting and stuff on the stream, so you'll get to see these a bit more close and personal over time. Right, so we have loaded up into one of the shunting turns at Preston Station. Early morning, it's about uh, 10 to 4 in the morning, as you can see the sun is uh, slowly making its way out. Uh, it's a little bit of a light fog. I absolutely love um, running this sort of time in the morning with a little bit of a light fog. I just think it uh, oozes with atmosphere, personally. So we're going to do this little uh, shunting turn um, around Preston with a bit, uh, bit of coaching stock. Uh, it's not going to be a long one. I, say it's about, I think it's about 13 minutes on the timetable, this one, so we're just going to set everything up. Um, but I think actually everything's on. Yeah, we're on. We're good. Right, so we're into forward. We'll wait 
the signal to clear. So we're currently on the back of the mail platforms at the minute. Um, so we're going to take these coaches out um, of here. We're going to stop at a signal. Yeah, 94, is that this one? No. We haven't got the road. There must be something knocking about. I don't know what. Oh, there is a train coming in. That might be what we're waiting for. I think what we're doing is we're waiting for that to come in. And then we're going to um, basically pop the stock onto the back of it. So we're, we're basically boosting up the service. Now I think this might be the one that then runs to Blackpool North. So I think well, this is the, uh, the Manchester to Blackpool News run. It's just coming over now. It's been run by a peak. It's actually uh, one of the layered uh, pieces of rolling stock for this. You can just see it snaking its way across um, the junctions currently. It's just that layering of the fog in the distance. That's one of my favourite little features in the TSW4 um, upgrades. Just how the fog works. So yeah, this is the uh, the Blackpool News Run. I think what it has is the newspapers, and then we're putting the express parcels on the back of it. Obviously, the route's been out at the time of me recording this video, just over a day uh, now. So, I'm currently on holiday. For, I'm on leave for an, uh, a week and a bit now from work. So, I'm basically um, just playing about with the route. I've been doing. Uh, I spent the day doing all sorts of random free roam stuff, um, just all sorts of weird and wonderful uh, stuff that we've got in the game that I wasn't really able to do anything with in terms of like in the past um, building phase of things. So, putting liveries in that we can get off creators club and stuff like that. It was quite nice to do. I did all sorts. Some fictionally bits as well. This 08744 as well, what we're on. There's a, another mail train has arrived. A hyper activity. Well, it's not a short work, there's only four, uh, four vans on it. Stopped all the way down there, so I think we're going to shunt these onto the rear of that. In the early hours of the morning at Preston, you'll find that this uh, shunt is always busy doing bits and pieces. Not got a name on that one. We're stopping just past the crossovers. So there are two sets of points going to the left. We're stopping just after the second one. Upwards, indicating on the uh, the ground signal there. This is PN 99. And they click on the signals when they go off as well. Got uh, quite a big fan of. Ribble uh, Union fired up at the minute. Apparently, that's a failure. 
<laughs> I must have gone past it. Never mind. It's not the end of the uh, the turn, so it's not the end of the world. I was looking at the bar on the uh, the court screwy bill there. It didn't look like I had gone over it. But never mind. I'm not so I'm not too fussed. As long as we complete the turn, it's uh, all good. So we are going straight back. Six vehicles. The tap the signal because the obviously the other locos in the section. If you don't tap it, that would have been a failure. Brakes were dragged. They were a bit of squealing. Seems to have come off now. No idea that. I saw another red signal, but I'm not quite sure. I'll give it a tab anyway, but it did say denied, but it seems to be alright. Might have been because the coaches went through the signal and then we saw red on the Hudson. That might be what it was. The uh, potential thumbnail there, I reckon. I do like this livery. It's one of my favourites. Uh, well, it's the favourite of the two, shall I say, of the Gronks. Let's see what we can do with the, uh, the settings there. A bit of exposure and a bit of uh, saturation. Right. Obviously, we need to watch what we're doing here, so we're gonna go and get ourselves into position because we're gonna have to uh, ensure we don't smash into the back of this. Forty-seven. There's that another metal train. It is. Look at all these parcel trains and mail and newspapers. Such a busy se uh, section of sort of timetable in the early morning. So you don't see any pasture workers, but you. Other than sleepers that do go through, but maybe a bit of freight. But you, you get all these parcel workings that are all out and about at the same sort of time. It means this um, this 08 gets really, really busy. There's another train coming, which could be a sleeper or freight. I don't know. We'll have a look. What could it be? Yes, they are. It looks to me like a sleeper. So, busy. Been very cautiously, yeah. To be where I smash into it now. Gracefully. Need to rush. It's 
So a couple up. Gotta wait a minute. It's just a beastly looking little uh, workhorse, really. This. She's apparently taking off. For whatever reason. Couple the white. Oh, wait. wait again. Leave it's book high up. Anything due on platform one? Uh, nothing until five forty nine. And there's another big gap again. And it starts picking up. Uh, five forty seven. 8.43 It's quite late in the morning for that platform Back to pin 94, which I think is the one again that we missed earlier, which we managed to... Oh no, we're not going all the way this time. Just part of the way. Then we're going back to pass the side of the one. So, obviously down this end of the uh, of the route, it's a bit different to doing what the 08 does at Blackpool. That's doing shunt releases all day, but this one's shunting mail. No. Two different worlds for them. Also, I've just realised that that 47, what was on there, has come off. No idea where it's gone. Where's it gone? It's uh, left and gone south on its own as a light local. No idea. It's gone. Wherever it's gone, it's gone. Unless it's running around. I'm not overly sure. I think it's disappeared and gone. It must have gone light engine somewhere. Try not to uh, make a total mess of this. Literally somewhere around here after the set points. Oh, I failed it again. So, you've got to be so uh, sort of precise with this. I'm not overly fussed, like, as long as I've done it, I'm, I'm, I'm happy. It doesn't bother me if I've missed a task. Yeah, we're alright, we're good. That must be the sleeper going south. Another low code just arrived there. Yeah, there's another one. Whatever that is. Oh, 
Right, so parcel signs one, which should be automatically set, which it is. I think what happens next is on the next turn you then pick up those uh, coaches over in the other platform. Potentially split them up and put them into the yard. to stable looking platform 4C wait for their day's work There we have it. We've, we've actually done so. A massive thanks again, as always, for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed. Just another little aspect of the Blackpool branches route. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Um, hit the notification bell for future videos. Drop us a comment. Um, it's been good to see all the comment and chats in the other videos. It's nice to engage with you all. Um, if you've got any any questions or general uh, feedback, pop it in there. Um, it's always good to see. Um, but yeah, thank you very much um, for watching. Take it easy. See you very, very soon for another video. And there we go. This is us in Arsenal Signings 1. Take care, guys. And again, we'll see you again very soon. Bye for now.